everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to make the mate to this little earring using products from the Bargain Bead Box 2021, uh, July 2021. So um, these are the ceramic beads that came in the box, um, and this is the toggle clasp and the little charm set. I really like that. I thought it was cute. So um, we're just going to make the mate to this earring. It's super easy, and I'm just going to tell you right now everything you need. So you do need one of the ceramic beads, okay? Um, you're going to need the toggle clasp and the charm that was in the box. You're going to need a, an ear wire of your choice. I'm using a lever back on this one. You will need two of the bead caps that were in the box. You will need one eye pin. Um, possibly a jump ring. Did I use a jump ring on this? Yes, one jump ring. <laughs> this is a little four millimeter jump ring. And then I have some um, fire polish beads here. I do not know. I'm sorry for the cut on my finger. It is not dirty. It has tie dye ink in it. Um, and I can't get it out because it's in a cut on my finger. I did wear gloves while tie dyeing, but um, obviously they leaked. So um, these are little four millimeter fire polish. I believe they are Montana blue something or other. I, I can't remember. Um, I've had them for a while, but um, oh, actually here, I do have it on here. They are Aquamarine Azuro AB. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Aquamarine Azuro AB, but um, they look really pretty with this. So that is all you're going to need and some jewelry tools and optional is some E6000 glue. So this toggle comes right out here, just like this. Um, and if you are afraid that that will come out and you will lose your earring, um, you can take just a little bit of glue and just glue that in if you want to or however you want to face it you could even glue it up and down like this um i don't i haven't had any trouble i've been playing with it here for a little while and i'm not had it fall out so i don't think it would be a problem but you could put a little glue there if you wanted just to be really sure you know that it wasn't going to okay um and that is all you need to make this earring so let's get started with it the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our little middle piece here and we're just taking the, the fire polish bead and one of the bead caps. Now I'm putting the bead cap on facing down so it cups over the fire polish bead. I just like the way that looks. Then I'm putting on my ceramic bead and then my bead cap, again, facing the wrong way, facing up so that it cups the bead, the smaller bead, and then my other fire polish bead. I'm going to make a loop, just a regular loop, so 90 degree angle here. We are going to cut this off, and then I'm just going to use my round nose pliers to create a loop. And I am sorry for the condition of my hands. Again, it is tie-dye ink. I cannot get it off. Um, like I said, I thought I was doing a really good job protecting myself with gloves, but... <laughs> Clearly, it did not make that much difference. Um, they Somehow it got in there anyway, and now I've got, and I have a whole streak of it running down the front of my leg too, a big orange streak of tie-dye that won't, won't come off. I just can't get it off. Um, so anyway, crazy. But I have to get that off before Sunday because I really don't want to go to church with a big streak, that orange streak down the front of my leg. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take our jump ring. We are going to hook this right onto this toggle bar just like this, and close it up. Okay, just like that. Now, we're going to hook our little charm on, and I'm just doing the, just hooking the charm straight on here. I'm not using a jump ring. Just trying to find the front of my loop. There we go. Going to hook this charm straight on, and then I'm going to close it up. Maybe. It's a little easier if you hook your charm on first before you make the whole rest of your dangle. I just did it backwards. There we go. Just make sure it's closed up really good so that you won't lose your charm. Okay, now one thing we have to do is if you can see, for one thing, my... 
my head pin. I'm sorry if you can hear Chris. Him and Lainey are playing Mario or something downstairs, and he's really loud. Okay, so you just hold this right like this. So, as you can see, my charm is not hanging the way I need it to. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one with my pliers like this. And then I need to twist this so that my charm is facing front. So, I'm going to grab the bottom one while I'm holding the top one still and twist the bottom one where I want it to go. I am not moving the top one. I'm just holding it still. And then you may have to straighten up your head pin again if it gets bent. Okay, then you just want to hold this up and see if it's right. And mine looks like it is. If it's still hanging crooked, you just keep twisting it until you get it the right, the exact, you know, the way that you want it to be. But the thing is, you want to make sure you're just moving that, um, that bottom one, turning it, not your top one. Okay, so you can insert this right in here. And there you have it, your little earring. Now I'm going to put my ear wire in. So I'm just going to open this up. Hang it directly on here on my lever back and close it right up. And there we have it. A really cute little earring. Pretty unique and different. I'm using the toggles like that. I kind of like it. And I think I'm, I'm going to try to come up with a necklace to match this or a bracelet or something. So we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But I like these. I thought they turned out cute and I love these beads. I thought they were really pretty. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to subscribe to Bargain Bead Box, I do have a coupon code. It is Wendy2. That will get you $2 off of your first box. Um, you can check out my Bargain Bead Box playlist, unboxing playlist, if you want to see what past boxes have been like, um, and just check that out for yourself. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!